Two students at Granville High School are bringing their community together in support of Ukraine. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson spoke with them about their goal to provide thousands in, of dollars in donations. Jonathan. That's right, Jamie. This relief effort was all started by two teenagers who say they just wanted to make a difference, and now they're gaining the support of their community to do so. At first glance, Zoe Knobloch and Wyatt Malashenko may seem like your average high schoolers, but it's what they're doing outside of class that's rather extraordinary. We're both uh, like the descendants of Ukrainian immigrants, and we had that in common, so it was sort of a shared ground where we wanted to act. That's how Wyatt describes their idea to start a humanitarian relief fund for the people of Ukraine, with the goal to raise over $5,000 worth of supplies over the next three weeks within their community. We are looking for hygiene items, toiletries, non-perishable food items like canned goods, and most importantly, medical supplies for anyone who's ever, who's been injured in the war. And all these supplies can be dropped off at donation boxes they placed around the neighborhood, starting with a few at their school, along with others at the local grocery store and around town. Then the donations will be sent overseas, thanks to help from local efforts such as Grace Evangelical Church in Grove City. They have a large number of Slavic people who have family and relatives there who go to the church, so they immediately uh, found, yeah, tried to find a way to cut out the middleman and start sending stuff there as soon as possible. But all this work wouldn't be possible without the help of their community. And the pair say they're thankful for their school, family, and friends for supporting them. I'm really grateful to have that type of support from the community just so he's making sure that everyone's aware of what's going on and I think that's really important. Now the donation drive starts this Tuesday and will continue up until mid-May and for a list of items you can drop off to help donate you can visit our website at NBC4i.com. Jamie? Great idea. Thank you Jonathan.